What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Knights of St. John. This is a round off where we left off. We pretty much spent an entire turn building up to send troops across the Atlantic and go to capture some of the rebel territories in the Caribbean to provide extra cash for our empire, which we so desperately need. Um, but London's growing very nicely. We still do have our university chipping away. I mean, we're going to knock down this guy, but Tatooine is helping chip away at our research. We obviously do want Oxford to be upgraded into a school, but we do need to keep resistance to foreign occupation down. We also want to start to grow religious happiness. Things like that. I'm both pretty sure right now we've not got anything to do except end turn. Europe is in turmoil. We must exploit that fact. At least as much as is practicable. Because I don't want to uh, overstretch and have the same thing happen again. That's why I'm going for the fairly uncontroversial pirate territories, like the Bahamas. I mean, pr previous British territories. I think that's a good idea. And I also probably want to have an eye on expanding towards Sweden. Because we are at war with Sweden as well. Ah, the Ottoman trick. So, just a second, guys. I'll see you in a second. And we're back, and it's good to see the Russians are still fighting against the Ottomans. Yeah, so maybe, maybe it is wise to have one army expanding in the Caribbean, growing our colonial holdings, and it may also be a good idea to actually send forces to go and attack Sweden. But let's not get too crazy. Let's build up some industrial capacity in North Africa. Because now we don't need... We call it, we've got priests to get the religious unrest down. I think there's no more towns in Tunis. Yes, yeah, so this is as happy as they'll ever get. So we need to be careful about what exactly we do. But it just still means we can upgrade it more than Algiers. Our fleet has arrived! Giovanni Sanchi. Unfortunately, they are as... Oh, that was a bit of a... Very frame ratey there. Wow, okay, we need to be careful here. So we're not at war with anyone over here, I don't think. We're only at war with Sweden, so let's push on to Nassau. I don't think we're going to get caught out. See, that's trade with the Swedish there, but we're not at war with France or the 13 colonies, so we're relatively safe. Obviously recruiting more troops. That does count as acting as a garrison, so I am tempted to pop a school here. War declared between France and the 13 colonies, so that may cause us problems later on. Um, but I suppose the 13 colonies have lost their protector now. Come on, Sweden. Let's chill out. No. I'm not going to give you Scotland. Okie dokie. Let's move our priest down to Tatooine, because you're one more turn away from getting empiricism. Okay. So our income's now 3,700. We're losing trade with the Ottomans because the Russians have got the port. Paris is unprotected, but... That would be a bold move. But yeah. Right now we just need to keep ending turns. I do need... I do want a navy. And to be honest, now we've got a cash surplus a turn. It might be best to start building some ships. I do not like the Dutch growth. Ooh, do you want, do you want an alliance, eh? No. I don't want to be dragged into any, any continental wars. So previously I chopped the Ottoman recording and actually they hopped along very quickly. So I think I might not do that this time. Looks like they got intercepted when they tried to uh, save their port. Um, but yes, I think the idea, the safe idea, is to jump from Caribbean Island to Caribbean Island 
opening up our empire to more parts of the world to increase our trade income because trade income can be used to fuel an army to go and attack uh, Norway and potentially open up a front against the Swedes. It would be tempting to actually try and just take Copenhagen and then try and go for peace. But this is a very funky campaign. But yeah. In a way, once if we've expanded, you know, if we develop in, in the Caribbean well enough, then weirdly what may end up happening is that we get booted out of the Mediterranean and the Knights of St. John now just form the Knights Templar in, uh, in London, which would be pretty funky. And it looks like the Russians have taken over from the Ottomans and being jerks when it comes to end turn shenanigans. Oh, if it's not if it's not the Ottomans, it's someone else can't have a nice easy end turn. That would be silly. They go the Barbary States, the Barbary States which we are at peace with. But at least now with Britain, we have access to the full gamut of uh, technologies to research. So we're still religious unrest four. It should hopefully be chipped away. So we've got this in Ireland. Dutch got lots of flutes. I mean, I could upgrade this to a royal palace. But there's not as much of a need. So increases clamour for reform by my by one, or by two, by the looks of it. In this case, the case of this uh, region. Let's hop over to the Americas. I don't know why it's so frame it gets so laggy trying to hop over to the region. But yeah, send our main army to go and attack Nassau which is currently owned by pirates. Then we'll grow this into a new... Wait, resistance to foreign occupation. Oh, the, the people are even... They, they don't like being ruled by the pirates. Juan Johnson. Uh. Okay, so we've got 3,300 cash. There's nothing we can actually spend our money on. So let's go to Portsmouth. Let's recruit an Admiral's flagship to start to build up another fleet. Ah, Tatooine. Five turns till that. I don't think so, sonny boy. Go for military syllabus to get fire by rank. Yeah. Clunder's clamour for reform is going to go from, from zero to six immediately. But we've still got a lot of resistance to foreign occupation, so that will go down. That'll go down every turn. So right now it would be minus two when the school's built, but it's not going to be built for two turns, so it'll be zero when the school's built, because res resistance to foreign occupation goes down one a turn. But this is okay, I think. Okay, so next turn we're going to go take Nassau... Then we're going to sail down to Port Royal, sail down to Curacao, the Leeward Islands. Just hop around here to expand our trade empire. Because you can use a trade empire to fund armies to invade Sweden. But I do want more advanced military techs for that. So let's hit end turn. And when it gets to, uh, when it gets to the Ottoman Empire, I'll hit end turn. Just to see nothing boring happens. So it would appear there is a lot of uh, activity around around um, Istanbul. Lots of Russian activity. Good. Two craft workshops have been built, which we can upgrade straight to the next tier. That's excellent. So then hopefully these guys will start to grow a bit faster. Too bad about the food shortages, but then again... The towns have all been built. 
then let's hop over and fight for the first time ever in this entire campaign. Well, actually, this is going to be an auto resolve. I'm going to actually fight it for the symbolism. This is our first colonial battle ever as the Knights of St. John. Ordinarily, I wouldn't fight this. But this time, this time, I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to. Just to say, we fought our first colonial battle. Deploy our men. Deploy our line. Deploy our highly experienced and very effective Maltese cavalry. very experienced regiment of horse. Let me give our artillery another workout. Just push up. Hello, pirate captain. There we go. First infantry are fired, and obviously without fire by rank, we have lost an amount of our firepower. I haven't looked at our Maltese marines. Oh, this is it. So this unit's going to go chase down that pirate fleet. Pirate mob. Marines aren't going to take kindly to that. We're going to start taking pot shots at their enemy guard. Let's halt artillery fire to prevent some fratricide. Yeah, let's intercept their general. Let's turn off fire. To oh, cover our fire here. And let's make sure they don't try and lure us over to the uh, lure us over to the stakes. Apart from that, we're engaging. Oh, there he is, the pirate captain himself. Let's see if we can take him out. He's not. He is in a sword fight, which is positive. I think he's going to make it. Whoa, Maltese Knights, don't run that way. Pretty sure that's everyone. Yes, because you are pirates, and even though we may be invaders ourselves, we will not let piracy go unpunished. Good old morals kicking in here. We may have invaded your stuff, but by God, we're going to rule it properly. So I don't think we can have that many morale problems. Um, because by the looks of it, the population seemed happy that someone was invading them. Or at least they were unhappy. Usually... Um, Resistance, or you know, because the you know, morale bonuses from having your land invaded usually are in your favour, but in the pirates it was against them, which I thought was a bit funny. But I suppose it does mean these people don't want to be ruled by pirates. They instead want to be ruled by the glorious Maltese, the Knights Templar. That's who they want. There we go. Although, that's ah, because it's completely broken. That's okay. Let's spend this money on rebuilding our army. Then we'll repair the forts. 
And we'll actually open up coffee. We'll have coffee plantations. Let me see, we can upgrade this as well. But it'll be our first trade good. Our first actual trade good ever we've seen in this campaign. Which will be pretty neat. And London is <laughs> yeah, still still growing really quickly. So let's hit in turn. Yeah, I'm keeping an eye on you, United Provinces. So, similar to the drill. When the, you know, when the Ottoman Empire shows up, I'm going to hit... I'm going to cut the recording. Oh, here they are. Yeah, so the Russians haven't taken Istanbul, but they're well on the way. There's a lot of men over there. I'll actually pop back. But it's my turn and go and show you. So they've got it's a full stack sitting in this port, which is an unfortunate sequence of events. Uh, there is more troops around here than what we can see. They've been disappearing and reappearing along this road. God, I missed them ball. <laughs> He's making it nothing. Okay, so we've got a school in England, and they're just about happy with it. So let's get them working on... Probably, like, steam... Pump, maybe? Or maybe start to uh, improve some of our naval. No, I think, I think industry is a good idea. Steam pump is good, because from our recent takeovers we have mines and things like that that we can spend money on. So the Prussians are pushing on all fronts. Yeah, they're with Austria, Hanover, Pirates, Dagestan. But not us. So, fix the port. Let's fix the government council. Let's upgrade the roads first, I think. Make sure our replenishment's good. Keep, yeah, make sure our replenishment's fine. We'll go on and take Port Royal, and then we'll also take Curacao. It's tempting to try and attack the 13 colonies, considering they're at war with France, but I don't think that's something we should do. Okay, we're about to get some new buildings built. We've got our first new... Uh, first admiral, third rate. Can't build any uh, fourths or fifths. I don't think I'm going to build anything else. I'm going to keep the cash instead. Raiding it could raiding could be useful, but I don't want to draw the Swedish navy over here. I don't want them to just, I don't want them to come anywhere near the British Isles. It's unfortunate we're losing money. Because the Ottomans can't hold their own port. But at the very least, we are expanding in the Caribbean. So let's hit end turn again. I need to start making notes of this. Actually when I've when I think my when I think my uh, part has ended. Because right now I'm getting loads of, you know, two or three minutes here and there. Um, so I just need to make sure that when I stop, I actually stop in a reasonable place rather than massively over or under. You want an ally? No. Oop, I really do time. hope they get over this whole uh, <laughs> end turn problem. Because um, especially in this, in a campaign like the Knights of St. John, where you've actually got lots of end turn turnover, it's not really ideal. So, let's make sure we pick up the next military building. You don't get carbines, you instead go for... Shore facility, I suppose, is a good idea. Nah, uh, uh, flintlock cannons are a good idea. Let's try and maintain some sort of parity in terms of rates of fire. There we go, our first trade. We're first. Our first trade is getting coffee in. It looks like we've lost trade agreement. Ooh, gentleman in England. He doesn't look like Claudio Russo to me. Okay, let's get him over there. Let's get our... So we've got a new rake as well. So let's get him to Portsmouth. Embark him aboard ship. And then just dump him off the coast. So let's try and get a 
bit more visibility over the nation's capitals, I think. So let's hop back over here. So we're now getting four and a half thousand a turn because we've lost trade. So let's pick a new trade partner, such as... Whew, okay, we need to pick someone good. Persians are usually always good. I'm tempted to go with a Mediterranean Italian power in order to try and... Uh, wait a minute. Okay, for a minute there I thought, hang on, have we lost... <laughs> Is the Ottomans disappeared because, oh, we lost trade because... They lost Istanbul. Lost it. The Ottomans are really on the back foot. So is this a, an opportunity to push against the Ottomans? I think it might be. I mean, they've lost Istanbul. We can go take Cairo. I think that's a very good idea. So let's build some cannon. Ready for the push. We need to build up slow. Because we do want... Two. So they'll... They'll be unhappy for a while. But they're not going to do too much damage. Yeah, that's a rake. That was the rake we got. Yeah, I think maybe attacking the Ottomans might be a good idea. Especially if the Russians are doing quite a lot of the heavy lifting. But I, mean, I definitely do want um, advanced an advanced barracks then. Actually, I may even build it down here. Instead of doing recruiting cannon up here. Recruit it down here. And instead up here maybe yeah maybe just the one unit of marines or well, marines in line because we will need to ship them down here but i think it would be a good idea actually especially if the russians are doing such a good job at knocking them out for us so next turn we'll be over in the port then we can sail and go take jamaica and add sugar to our trade empire and i still haven't actually picked a trade partner so Savoy is a good shout, I think, because they're close. We're friendly. They demand... Okay. Yeah, I'll do that. I don't mind a bit of give and take when it comes to diplomacy. It's just when they try and take the proverbial. Trading with Morocco would also be a good idea, but we never seem to be able to. Besides, Spain is going to take them out sooner or later. And now I have Britain, I have no interest in Morocco myself. One more turn till the industry's built. Okay. Sweet. Let's hit end turn. And once more, chop the recording. Hmm. It's funny, really. Uh, <laughs> since the Ottomans lost Istanbul, uh, the turn times actually progress a lot quicker now compared to how they used to. Workers on strike. To be honest, I'm tempted to just exempt them from tax, just to get rid of this, remove the possibility that they break anything. You guys get aboard ship. Go take Jamaica. <laughs> I'm tempted just to fight it again, just to make, just to get a little bit of action in here, rather than uh, just episode after episode after episode of nothing really happening. May as well do some fighting, but it is certainly an interesting prospect to actually go and declare war on the Ottomans. But obviously, I want to do it. Well, the Russians look like certainly look like they're clearing up the uh, the Balkans quite well enough. Okay, so five men in, in one position on the right, five units of infantry in one position on the left. Cavalry unit, cavalry unit to join each of them. General in the centre, and a spare infantry.
focus fire on the town hall. We have no love for your civil buildings. I might even send my well, my, got my marines, yeah. Get my marines up there. So they're attempting to go they're attempting to kill my general. That's gonna cut no ice with me. I also want to push my marines in. I want to push my marines in a position where they might get some uh, melee combat in. But I think we're just going to pull off a massive flank. There's not a lot we can do about it. Pirates are in a position. They could actually do some good. I say some good. Don't worry. The 9th Regiment are going to open fire on whoever they can. It's going to be the, the artillery. Send my infantry to specifically take it by force. Take the guns. Not. Oh, there's not even anyone in here. It's just a, uh... It's just a... A problem. Let's pull some infantry to go around the... Go around the flank to peck it. To peck at the enemy. You guys pivot. You guys get involved. Yeah, no, that's not going to work. My marines have to go and execute these guys gangland style. Aha, they're retreating. So these guys, these marines can only really just fire at will. Charge the cavalry in, I suppose. God, they are actually... Oh, it's because there's actually a... There we go. So we just have to make them rout. Which means we definitely don't do not want to continue battle. When it's over, we want to finish it. These guys are doing a bit of a dance. Bit of a wee jig. Go stop firing. So the reason why I don't want to continue is to make sure. Ah, oh, they came back. The devils. In which case, then, well, these guys all stop firing. You can actually continue to fire because uh, that looks like a pirate general that's come back to me. Engage the general. There he goes. You guys stop shooting. So it looks like they are going to invade the house. But let's see what good it does first. Hey, it did actually work. Yeah, let's end it there. <laughs> so I don't think I need to end... 
I don't think I need to cut the recording now because it's the last time it was actually okay. But there we go. Jamaica is also ours. And let's fix the commercial port. Let's repair the dockyard. The roads are already pretty good. Let's replenish our men. And let's also... God, I can't recruit anything. Okay. What's cheapest? It is the buccaneers. Recruit some buccaneers to go over there and fill in the ports. Let's upgrade the plantation to get more goods to market. Got a new university in Tunis and they just about still like us. One more turn till two really useful technologies are completed. Yeah, it looks like the Russians are really kicking seven bells out of them in the Caucasus. So they've still got... The Ottomans are still holding Athens, but I don't want Athens because that's a recipe for creating a bastion uh, where I'm stuck. I, you know, I have to dump a whole bunch of troops there to defend against the Russians. And is the game now screwing with me? You... The Ottoman turn, last turn was fine. It wasn't like this at all. Okay, well, cut my losses. Let's chop the recording now, and I'll see you guys in a second. Yeah, good job we did chop the recordings. We didn't get to look at anything then. Hey, wait, d did I manage to forget to... Uh, did I manage to forget to pick a trade partner regardless last time? Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> That's right. Oh, the Buccaneers can't even get there now. Okay, let's take this ship. Are you going to challenge us with your race built galleon, Modit? Okay, you take the position. Let's get the buccaneers over there. Punt them out. Ah, we didn't, didn't take it. Let's move the army out to Jamaica. Oh, unsurprisingly, they didn't take that kindly. So let's take everyone except a unit of native African infantry back to... Actually, does that make sense to want them there? I suppose it doesn't really matter, actually. So let's pick... Replenishing the port. Do I pick Governor's Palace? I think I may as well. In lieu of any other worthwhile upgrades. So we've got flintlock cannon and basic steam pump. Actually, that's a bad idea. Don't pick that. Because we've got mines we can upgrade with it. And also, let's build a race-built galleon here. So building, picking up the guns. Abundant yield mine. That's exactly what we like to see. Okay, let's take take our core of infantry, deploy them aboard Senor. this third rate, which is our pretty much our limit, which is our which is our only real naval transport option. Deposit them off the coast of Algeria, well, in the port of Oran. Let's take these troops and advance them east along the coast road to Tunis. Let's take our light galley. They can take position in Portsmouth to prevent a sneak attack. You put one unit of artillery. I'm sure we're going to be losing in money. Oh no, we're actually still on really good wages. Well, not wages, but... Aha! We can cancel building this light galley instead. Ship over. One of these fellas. Okay, don't waste your time with blast furnaces. Instead, go for division of labour. To gain the town wealth, we can upgrade our plantations in the Caribbean and we can also upgrade our home port. Oh no, I did get... No, that was it. I got uh, trade with Savoy. So I'm sticking with my local... Uh, European partners, the Italian states, and Genoa, which is good. Okay, next turn you'll be over here. 
ready. So we've got sugar joining our trade market. Obviously, we'd have no coffee on the market now because the pirates raided our territory. Then we'll go down and take Punda. That will be our next stop. And with our money, we have... I mean, yeah, the Russians have done really well, so I think I'm, it might be worth to push. I mean, I've got a bit of time. One turn to get the drill school here, so I'm going to not build anything specifically. Because I can pick up some grenadiers or some African infantry guards. It would be pretty neat. Mistress... Michelangelo Rao. Good. Obviously, I do need to upgrade this school as well. But resistance to foreign occupation is still at 13. It's still at 13 and we have two maximum happiness build buildings. This shows you how important this people in government factor really is. Hopefully, our guy in charge will die for whatever reason. Or if not, we'll just have to constantly keep a garrison in London. <laughs> not the most efficient, but you know, got to keep the Brits in line. But one second, guys, choppy the chop. Because we're doing pretty well. I mean, I chopped it, and I totally didn't need to. <laughs> it just carried on. Yep, there go the Venetians. But I think it is definitely worthwhile attacking the Ottomans. I think I probably have to go through the... Yes, yeah, so the pirates are going to attempt to cause problems by blocking our trade. So let's go use this guy to go attack the race-built galleon. It's just a third rate versus a galleon. Take it into our service. Let's fix... The ships can't go anywhere yet. We can't take them to Curacao yet. Bahamas have been blockaded, which is unfortunate, but nothing we can do. Got a new military building here at Tunis. Although, actually, you can just st sit outside it for now. Let's pick up a general. Constantino Bassano. And let's get some grenadiers. So now we have access to fire by rank. So Tatooine immediately ignore that and go on to fire by rank. <laughs> so we've got light cavalry. We're getting some grenadiers. We'll probably have to take out the Barbary States en route, which I don't really want to do. I want to... Oh god, yeah. they've. Hungary's become independent. The independent Kingdom of Hungary. Yeah, I definitely do want to attack them now because this is all they've got. I'm assuming they'll lose Athens. Let's just make peace with Sweden. No, I'm not going to give you Scotland. Yeah, can't stop you raiding. Okay, now I may go back to Portsmouth. Not back to Portsmouth, London. Pick up a college. Good. So my third rate in Jamaica is going to go north to unblock to open up our port with for trade or for the trade from Jamaica and then the galleon is going to go and s go attack is going to transport our troops over to Curacao and I'm pretty damn sure the Russians are going to take uh, they're going to take Athens like I said I definitely don't want it hey They've gone to go cause problems for the Spanish. Good. Coffee plantations. We're getting more goods to market. Although... My trade route is being raided. Okay, let's take our... Uh, galleon out. How about now? Can I move you guys out? Minus three. Okay, we'll exempt you from tax for a turn or two. Because we're doing pretty well. Ah, how about a sneaky uh, audio hiccup? Sneak, try to get through there. 
Actually, no, I won't exempt them from tax. I'll just build a unit of line infantry. Or two units. They'll be useful in the wars to come. So let's take this army. Sell them on. Let's see what they've got at Curacao. Sail around this bad boy. Good. Well, let's go. The final battle of the episode. Let's go and take Curacao. Let's uh, capture another town with a military barracks, which is useful, with another village, which is useful in a in a um, industry configuration. I think we're on to a winner. Similar to before, let's just form a wing to flank around the city. Then some guys to push through the city. Cavalry on each flank, general in the centre. Human push up to there. I see him running all these men. Uh, you're ripe for a cavalry charge. Just run all our troops through to the center. go as we open fire as the artillery crashes in amongst them here go our great fantastic regiment of horse Pushing forward. Mm, you charge in. Use my cavalry to go hit the militia. Actually, no, my cavalry can hit them now. These guys do something like this. These guys are definitely done for. Because they're being attacked. They don't have bayonets. My guys do. And we're about to charge them in the rear. There they go. <laughs> Let's end in there. That's, a, that's just mean. Look at that. Another lovely region captured in the name of the Knights of St. John. Which is providing some lovely cash. Don't worry, you guys have sorted themselves out. Obviously we've got pirates being, f un being annoying, but we're going to knock the pirates out fairly quickly. So 6,100 cash. You get back into Kingston. Hop back to London. You've picked up Grenadiers. Good. Can you recruit any 
pikemen? Pikemen would be great, but... African infantry guards, maybe? Maybe even militia? Hmm. Um, either way, though, I think we have hit our turn limit. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I hope you're as surprised as I am that we're still alive. Um, but yes, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of the Knights of St. John. Cheers, everyone.